Hi, this is Karen Greenhouse, and we're going to be showing you today how to use the class Wiz or the Casio FX991EX to create histograms with the QR codes. And so to do that, we have to go to the menu and get down to statistics. And please pardon my German. Uh, my calculator is in German for some reason, so maybe you can learn a little German along the way. So I go down to six statistics, hit equal to enter. And I want to do one variable because I'm going to be entering a frequency table. Now notice when I hit that, I don't have the ability to put in my frequency. I just have enough to enter the data. So to do that, I have to turn on the frequency. So in the class Wiz to do that, I need to go to Setup. So I'm going to do Shift, Setup. Again, we're in German. I'm going to arrow down to the next set of options and go into statistics, which is three. And the question I'm being asked is, do you want to turn the frequency on or off? And one is for on, so I'm going to say, yes, I want it on. So now notice that I now have the ability to put in the frequency. The data that I'm entering is data that was collected working with my students. We were rolling dice, collecting the sum, talking about distribution probability of each sum coming up. So I'm going to enter the data from one group's set of data, so 24 rolls where they rolled two die, summed them up, and counted the frequency of those sums. So in my X, I'm going to put the possible sums that could appear. So we're going to enter that first. So we've got 2, 3, 4, 5. So these are just all the possible sums that you can get when you roll a set of die, two die. So the highest we can go is 12. Now notice my frequency automatically sets itself to 1. I'm just going to go back up to the top here. I'm going to enter what this one particular group's frequency was. Um, you know, let's say I have 15 groups in the class. I'm just going to choose one to randomly work with. So this group had um, some data, some that did not actually get any turns. For example, 8 had no possibility to show up. So this is this one group's set of data. And so I am now going to visually show this on the internet. The thing with the class Wiz is it has the ability to create a QR code, which you, if you're a teacher and have the emulator, you can immediately click on and get into the internet and show the visual of this data. If you have the ability to use smartphones or iPad apps, you can um, do it from your smartphone. There's an app that allows you to to read the QR code and create the web link. Well, since we're in the emulator, we're going to go to the QR code directly here. So to get the QR code for the set of data, QR is above option. I'm going to hit Shift, QR. And you'll see in the emulator, it shows up in the calculator. This is what you would scan if you had, say, your smartphone and the app. But since I'm in the emulator, I get this second little button that I simply click, and it immediately takes me to the internet. So this is great if you're a teacher, you can visually show it very quickly. So here's this group of data from my students. Notice that the um, graph is showing decimal values, and I don't like that. So because we turned the frequency on, we're now going to be able to adjust the setting of my histogram by clicking the setting bar. And I'm going to change the way it's being stepped up. I want it to go by ones, not by a decimal value. So I'm going to redraw it. And now I have my histogram with my possible sums of my two die. Notice I have my table over here, and now I see the frequency of each. So this is one group's data, not what we'd expect. Um, we'd expect seven to show up more, but because we only took one group of data, only 24 possible roles, it's not coming out as we expected. So this is the neat thing that you can then do. You can go back into the calculator and now collect. So let's turn off some of this stuff. Let's go back to our graph. I only looked at one set of data, so when you're working with students, you want to say, well, maybe we need more data. So then you could collect every group in the group in the room. So now we're going to do the frequency of all group, and I've already done this ahead of time. So this is all 15 groups, um, so 24 rolls from 15 different groups. We have a slightly different frequency. So in totaling the whole class, I can now change the frequency on my calculator, so we'll do that very quickly. Um, and you'll notice we have a lot more possibilities, and each one actually showed up this time instead of any that did not appear. Um, so this is now the frequency of the whole class. So now when I hit the QR code, which we're going to do again, Shift, Option gives you that QR code. Again, you can scan it with the app, 
if you have a smartphone, or you can click it on the emulator simply by clicking the button, and we get a new histogram. We will want to change the setting again, so you simply click the setting button up here, change your step to whatever you want. We still want one. And when we hit draw, now this is sort of the distribution we would expect because the sum that's more likely to show up when you roll two dice is seven because there's more opportunities for it to get a seven. And the nice thing is because I did um, both of these close to each other, I have two tabs so I can see my one group's data by clicking the first tab and I can then click to the second tab and see the difference. And that's a great discussion to have with your students because they can compare their graphs to the class set and we can talk about what's different, what, why did it show up this way, etc. So a nice way to get online visual, visualization with a scientific graphing cal a scientific calculator, um, the Casio ClassWiz. So this is just an, uh, a way to demonstrate that. Have a great day.